This video illustrates the correct procedure for commissioning a Jergesen glass level gauge equipped with safety ball check valves when liquid is already present in the vessel. It further illustrates how ball check valves operate and a common commissioning mistake. The first step is to open the top valve one quarter to one half turn. It's always best practice when commissioning any Jergesen level product to open the top valve first. Next, open the bottom valve one quarter to one half turn to allow liquid to flow into the gauge. Notice how only slightly opening the valve keeps the stem tip in contact with the ball check. The importance of this will be explained shortly. Liquid will continue flowing into the gauge until the gauge level equalizes with the vessel level. Wait for the gauge level to stop rising before proceeding. Once the gauge level has stopped rising, fully open the top valve. Next, fully open the bottom valve. The tip of each stem has now been retracted into its seat cavity, allowing the ball checks to engage in the event of a catastrophic failure. Now let's see what occurs when the bottom valve is opened too quickly. The initial one quarter to one half turn allows liquid to flow through the valve into the gauge. If the valve is opened further during this flow and the stem tip retracts into the seat cavity, the liquid's kinetic energy will force the ball check onto its seat, adversely isolating the gauge from the vessel. The gauge will then display a constant false level reading until the ball check valve is reset or the vessel level coincidentally drops to the frozen gauge level.